Darkness descends upon the quiet corners of Delaware, where the veil between the living and the dead is thin. Welcome, fearless souls, to a journey into the heart of the unknown. In this spine-tingling exploration, we'll uncover the eerie secrets of the top 10 most haunted locations in Delaware. Prepare for a pulse-pounding descent into the realms of restless spirits, lost souls, and bone-chilling encounters. Number 10. Old Maggie's Bridge, Seaford. Deep in the heart of Seaford, a spine-tingling tale unfolds at the eerie Old Maggie's Bridge. Though some might dismiss it as a mere urban legend, the chilling reality transcends belief. It resembles a sinister game, akin to invoking Bloody Mary, yet the locals, in hushed tones, caution all who dare tread here. This forsaken bridge, nestled on the desolate Route 78, witnessed a catastrophic tragedy where a pregnant woman named Maggie met a gruesome end. They say that under the moon's ghastly gaze, if you stand upon old Maggie's bridge and dare to whisper, Maggie, I possess your child, the boundary between life and death becomes blurred. In the dead of night, the echoes carry your plea into the abyss, and then, as your heart races, the sorrowful wails of Maggie pierce the veil of the shadows, emerging from the very underbrush where she relentlessly searches for her long-lost child. You'll be forever haunted by the macabre encounter, for in Delaware's darkest corners, Maggie's anguished spirit lurks, and her tale sends shivers down the bravest souls. Number 9. The Addy Sea Bethany Nestled in Bethany, the Addy Sea, a picturesque Victorian bed and breakfast, conceals a horrifying secret. Built in 1902 and since passed through various owners, it's the Gravets who've overseen its ominous restoration. But within its walls, dread lurks. Room number one harbors a malevolent force, violently shaking its copper bathtub. Room number six echoes with phantom organ music, despite an absence of instruments. Room number 11 is haunted by Paul Delany, a former staff member. But these eerie rooms are merely the beginning. A ghostly figure rushes through dimly lit hallways, mysterious perfumes waft through the air, and spectral music haunts the building. Ghostly footsteps dance on the roof in the dead of night, a haunting memory of Kurt Addy's fatal fall. Would you dare to spend a night in one of the Addy C's haunted chambers? Number 8. Bellevue Hall, Wilmington. Hidden within the eerie embrace of Bellevue State Park, lies the chilling enigma known as Bellevue Hall in Wilmington, Delaware. This forsaken edifice bears witness to spectral inhabitants that cast a sinister shadow over its legacy. Beware, for the second and third floors shroud their secrets from the public eye, harboring a torrent of inexplicable occurrences. Among the ethereal phantoms, malevolent forces seize control, toying with electricity and orchestrating an eerie ballet of displaced chairs. Their otherworldly presence lingers, manifesting as unholy screams and wicked laughter, echoing through the haunted halls. Number 7. Cape Henlopen State Park, Luas. Venture into the heart of Luas, Delaware, and face the nightmarish enigma of Cape Henlopen State Park. Here, beneath the moon's watchful gaze, a phantom soldier stands sentinel behind Tower 12. His spectral duty remains unending, lurking within a bunker concealed beneath an innocent dune, near the campground bicycle trail adjacent to spotting Tower 12. Approach with caution, for growls and disembodied voices echo from the unseen realm. The soldier's sinister visage emerges unbidden in photographs and videos, a chilling testament to the enduring malevolence that permeates this forsaken ground. Number 6. Christiana Fire Company Station 12, Christiana. Deep within the heart of Christiana, an unspeakable darkness shrouds Fire Company Station 12. Whispers echo of two restless souls, one kind and the other malevolent. The nefarious specter emerges from the engineer's room, casting an ominous, shadowy figure that chills the soul. It appears relentlessly, far more than its benevolent counterpart. The benevolent spirit, seldom glimpsed, guards against the malevolent one, a relentless battle between light and shadow. Those who bear witness to this otherworldly duel attest that an unrelenting, palpable tension engulfs them a perpetual struggle between good and evil. Number 5. Cannonball House, Luas. In the quaint town of Luas, Delaware, the Cannonball House stands as a testament to history, forever scored by a sinister cannonball strike in 1813. This relic, born in 1765, boasts a chilling legacy, transforming from restaurant to laundromat to a pilot's private haven. 
tragedy seeped into its very foundations as the flames claimed Susan's life, her skirts dancing with death. Since the Lulus Historical Society's fateful acquisition in 1963, the house harbors eerie secrets. Doors, nailed shut, refuse to stay closed, and tools mysteriously vanish under the moon's watchful eye. A key, vanished for centuries, reappears beneath a sinister coiled rope, hiding within a 16th century chest. Amid these ghostly whispers, Susan's playful spirit haunts the Cannonball House, but a more malevolent presence lurks in the shadows. Rick Coward, the Delmarva Historic Haunts founder, recounted a bone-chilling encounter in the basement, an unseen entity brushing against his arm, invading personal space without form or face. Number 4. John Dickinson House, Dover. Deep within the heart of Dover, an eerie relic from the past stands shrouded in darkness, the John Dickinson House, also known as Poplar Hall. It's a place where history and horror converge. Constructed in 1739 and nearly reduced to ash in a blazing inferno in 1804, this mansion holds chilling secrets. Within its time-worn walls, John Dickinson, a figure from the annals of American history, eternally roams. His ghostly presence haunts the house, with spine-tingling tales of phantom scribbling echoing through the master's study. As visitors step onto the estate, they may witness the spectral figure of John Dickinson lurking in the shadows or even hear his otherworldly voice captured by paranormal investigators through electronic voice phenomena. The John Dickinson House beckons the brave to uncover its ghostly mysteries. Number 3. Fort Delaware, Delaware City In the desolate depths of Delaware City, a forsaken fortress lies dormant, Fort Delaware. Once a bulwark against enemies, it now guards something far more sinister. Its Pea Patch Island has borne witness to a turbulent past, seized by the military in the early 19th century from Dr. Henry Gale, who used it as a private hunting ground. A dark history intertwines with its construction. Built by the French to defend against Confederate forces and other threats, it became an accursed bastion of suffering. The fort's completion was marred by delays and devastation, stretching into the late 19th century. Within its stone confines, the dungeons were chambers of torment. Prisoners endured squalor, disease, and misery, with only the cold floor as their bed. Fort Delaware's gruesome history lingers in the present. Many have reported encountering shadowy apparitions and full-bodied specters within the dreaded dungeons. Disembodied voices reverberate through the fortress's dimly lit corridors, while chains are heard rattling in the ghostly silence. Venture to this haunted stronghold, where history's darkest secrets continue to cast their chilling spell. Number 2. Woodburn, Governor's House, Dover. Deep within the enigmatic shadows of Woodburn, the Governor's Mansion of Dover beckons, believed to be the darkest secret of Delaware. Erected in the chilling embrace of 1790, whispers of the supernatural had already woven their sinister tapestry in 1815. Dr. and Mrs. Martin Bates, the mansion's then-keepers, ushered in the first ghostly guest, forever etching this mansion into the annals of terror. During an ill-fated morning, the notorious preacher, Mr. Lorenzo Dow, found himself trapped within its ominous walls. Over breakfast, Mrs. Bates implored him to lead a prayer, but he hesitated, sensing an unseen presence lurking nearby. To her astonishment, she confessed no other soul shared their eerie reprieve. Mr. Dow, his voice trembling, described the apparition that haunted the staircase, an elderly specter adorned in powdered wig, knee breeches, and a ruffled shirt. In a bone-chilling revelation, Mrs. Bates realized it was none other than her late father, Mr. Charles Hilliard III, the mansion's original builder and owner. Number 1. Smyrna Museum Smyrna In the shadowy annals of Smyrna, Delaware, two historic relics from the 1700s stand as ominous relics, the barracks and the plank house. The barracks, home to the Smyrna Museum, emerges as a relic of wartime and unspeakable hauntings. Erected during the chilling 1790s, it harbored soldiers during the War of 1812, later becoming a sinister cradle for the recruitment of Union soldiers during the Civil War. Yet, its darkest legacy transcends the mortal realm. Whispers of spectral entities echo within its hollowed halls. Unearthly cries, ghostly voices, and eerie phenomena plague the living. Apparitions manifest, objects dance in the dark, and an unshakable feeling of being surveilled chills the bravest of souls. The Smyrna Museum, a seemingly innocuous facade, 
hides the relentless torment of a haunted past where history and horror intermingle. The spirits of the past still roam these haunted halls, their stories etched in the very fabric of the state. Remember, the next time you find yourself near Delaware's haunted locals,